Hi, welcome to my lesson. I'm a lecturer in financial accounting too, Mr. Tan Jinping. You can call me Mr. Tan as well. First of all, congratulations because you have passed your FA1. So you are able to, in, to join the class for FA2. And let me give you some introduction for financial accounting too. So we can say that the structure of business We have few structure of business. The first one, we having only one owner, or we can say one boss. This we call so trader. And another form is we have more than one owner, so we call partner. So this is partner. Another type is this business is limited by the shares of the company. So we call this as limited liability company. So in FA1 You have learned how to prepare a financial statement for the sole trader and in FA2 you will learn how to prepare the financial statements for partnership as well as limited liability company so let's start the first chapter which talking about the financial statement for partnership chapter 1 introduction of partnership Upon completion of this chapter, the candidate should be able to understand the nature of partnerships and the concept of appropriation account and partnership financial statement. So, the very good question, what is partnership? United Kingdom Act 1890 defines partnership as the relationship which subsists between persons carry on a business in common view of profit. So, profit motive is the very important keyword in the partnership. So, there are four key elements of a partnership. The first one, two or more partners. A partnership must have at least two partners. And the maximum partner should be 20. I think you have learned this in your FA1, chapter 1. Next, business arrangement. The partnership exists for business purposes. This partnership must with a profit motive means that you want to earn money. If you want to do for a charity, then you cannot form a partnership because partnership is for business, is for profit. Next, profit motive. Since it is a business, a partnership must operate with profit motive. This we explain in the business arrangement. And next one, unlimited liability. A partnership is not a legal entity. It means that the partner personal wealth will be affected if the partnership is not able to settle its liability. That's why we call unlimited liability. However, it will be different under the limited liability partnership as partner liability will be limited. So in general, if you having a partnership, the partner liability is unlimited. Let's put in an example. For example, you have two partners. Both of you form a partnership we call Triple A Partnership. And this Triple A Partnership doing a business with the call TCP enterprise let's say one day the business of triple A is failed it means that they want to close not profit making they want to close the business and AAA still owing TCP for example 10,000 so the question is, let's say 
in this situation, AAA partnership is not able to pay the 10,000 to TCP Enterprise. So can TCP Enterprise chase this amount to the partner of the company directly? Since AAA partnership is not longer as it, they want to close. It's not able to pay the money. Can TCP Enterprise chase this 10,000 to the partners of the company? The answer is yes, because the partner in a partnership, the liability is unlimited. It means that when the business is failed, the partnership is not exist anymore, but the partner is required to pay the debts on behalf of the partnership because the partnership having unlimited liabilities for the partners. So this is the concept. Next, partnership arrangement. So what is partnership arrangement? Partnership arrangement is a contract between who? Between the partner in a partnership. So what is the purpose for this partnership agreement? To set up the terms and condition among partners. So a partnership agreement should be prepared at the start of the business to avoid what potential disagreement and argument in future. So we put in a simple, simple words. When you want to form a business partnership with others, of course you are not the only one in the business. You cannot make all the decisions because you have a partner. You need to respect your partner decision. So this is good that you have a partnership agreement. So in this partnership agreement, you will set out the terms and condition of the partner in the partnership. So you may list out what is the contribution for each partner, how we share the profit, uh, what is the responsibility of each partner. Why we need to set this at the start of the business? Because this is good that you have agreed everything before you start the business. If you can't agree, then you better don't start your partnership. So what is the typical standard partnership agreement? First, you will list out the contribution of capital and percentage of ownership. You will indicate what is the profit and loss sharing ratio. You will list down the partner rules, duty and responsibility range of partnership you may make a decision when you have a problem in the business how you make the decision and in the case of closing how you close the partnership and what is the advantages and disadvantages of partnership first two head are better than one you have two partners you may come up more idea rather than you are the sole trader perhaps you have to make all the decision yourself Partnership is easy to establish and start up costs are low. Compared to limited liability company, the start up cost for a partnership consider very low. Next, more capital is available for business. If, if you have more than one person, of course the capital will become more as compared to single person. Next, high carry rate employees can be made partners. So if you have a business, you understand that wow, your staff is very good, your employee is very good, and your employee really help the company to make money. So in order to retain this employee, what you can do, you can offer this employee as a partner of the com um, company. It means that, so this employee will become partner of the company, so that this employee can make more, money or earn more in the business so and this employee will not form his own business or this employee will not jump to your competitor so you can make sure that your business operation is still continue next there is limited external regulation as compared to limited liability company for your information partnership is not required to audit what is audit audit means that you get an external person to review your financial statement and give opinion on whether the financial statement is true or fair. And despite of the advantages, we shall look at the disadvantages for a partnership. 
the liability of the partners for the debt for a business is unlimited except for limited liability partnership if you have a partnership of course you may face this situation your personal wealth may be involved when your company or your partnership is planning to close because you have a la unlimited liabilities on the debts on the partnership next there is a risk of disagreement and friction among partners and management of course you are not the only one in the business you have a partner so we know different people have different opinion so you have a risk that you have may you may have dispute or disagreement with your partner during the future operation because we always start at a very good dream but in actual there may have some reality that you understand each partner may be different in the opinion next each partner is an agent of the partnership and is liable for the action by other partners because partnership is looking as a whole so for example let's say this is partner a this is partner b partner b making mistake to make triple a fail is partner a liable for the action made by b the answer is yes partner a is liable the mistake or action taken by b in the partnership because they treat the partner as the agent next if partner join or leave you will probably have to review all the partnership asset and this can be costly and this we will cover in chapter 2 we will learn when you have new partner join the company join the partnership or when you have partner plan to leave the partnership what we need to do during the joining or leaving so let's discuss what are the financial statements for a partnership so similarly you have income statement and statement of financial position which is very similar to your sole trader financial statement and the additional one will be appropriation account and partners current account these are the addition financial statement for partnership so let's take a look on the sample income statement for partnership so it's very similar to your sole trader income statement we start from revenue we have return and we have net sales after starting your return inwards and we will less cost of goods sold the cost of goods sold start from opening inventories you add purchase carriage inward custom duty so we can refer this as cost to bring in product and next we less the return outwards or purchase return we less closing inventory and we get gross profit and the next part of your income statement we add income and we less expenses in order to get net profit or net loss in the business positive will be net profit and negative will be net loss next this is the sample of appropriation account we will come back when we discuss the appropriation account and this is the sample of your current account lastly this is the sample of your financial statement so for a partnership statement of financial position the asset presentation will be the same the liability presentation will be the same as well the only difference is on the equity so capital will break into each partner and we have a new word current account this current account will also break into each partner in order to get the total equities so highlight in your partnership statement of financial position these are the things that you have to take note loan from partner it means that the company have 
short of cash and want to borrow from the partner so we call loan from partner will be classified under liability this is a debt because this is not an equity for liability you are required to pay next we don't have retained earning we don't have drawings we don't have net profit or loss in equity because we have adjust this three thing in the partner's current account and for the current account if you have a debit balance it means that amount due from partner is a negative amount in your equity for current account if your current account is a credit balance it means that this is the amount due to partners so positive amount in your equity so let's end here and here we will continue part two later thank you